So one thing I was doing before... So one thing I was doing with these builds is I was building up the frame as a one piece and then gluing it up into the fender arrangement. But what I've noticed is that the geometry in here is really difficult because the Model T is sitting on these elliptical or semi-elliptical springs. And as you can see, they've got a big arc in here. And when you start to put them into the area to be glued in, their attachment point, this can get crooked in here because it wants to seesaw, I guess is the best way to describe that, it wants to act as a seesaw on this point. So you're trying to line up that rear axle and it's going like this underneath. And what was happening is when I put the wheels and the axles through on the frames, I was noticing that one corner was lifted up just slightly so that the whole model would be rocking, you know, if you put a bit of weight on the one side. And we don't want that. We want all four wheels to contact the tabletop. So this time around, I'm going to take the fenders and the frame with the engine glued in it and nothing else because before I was assembling the whole thing and I'm going to glue it right into the fender assembly first so that the frame is attached perfectly in there. Then afterwards I'm going to put the springs in here. I'm going to use liquid glue because in that way I've got time to adjust this and I'll put both front and rear springs in with wheels and uh, I will get that liquid glue in there, with the rear axle of course, and with the wheels and everything, and I will turn it over and set it up, you know, like this on the ground with the wheels on it, and then I will be able to rock the body back and forth until it's level and all four wheels will touch the ground.